So now let us try and run this code. We are currently using a word in lowercase because we haven't yet converted the word into lowercase within our helper function. But for now, let's see how this works. So here we have our word in main. Again, it's currently uninitialized, but when I click on next, I have this uh, uh, array initialized. And now I'm going to call this function. Now remember something we have said about how data is passed into a C function. We make a copy of its value. What does it mean to copy the value of an array? Last time we said perhaps this means we have to copy all this data. But that would be very, very inefficient. Instead, look what happens when I click on next. I am now in the to end lower function. This is expecting uh, an argument that is of type pointer to car. So the value that is going to be copied here is the base address of this array. And the base address is some fixed number. Regardless of how big the array is, its base address is always a fixed size. So I am going to get at this point a copy of this array's base address. I'm not going to copy all its data. See what happens when I click on next. I get the same type of visualization that I have seen earlier. This is simply saying that what is stored at this location is the address of this array. And now we can actually access this, uh, the letters in this array uh, through this pointer. Now we would compare this word with color. And of course, it's equal. So hopefully we come into this if condition. Our strcmp function has figured out that they are equal. And so we would return the word color. That value will get returned. And that is the value that is going to get printed. Once again, we don't see it here, but we will when we click on next. So this converts uh, the American spelling of color, at least the lowercase version, into uh, Indian English. Let's continue now by fixing the code so that it actually converts the given word into lowercase.